Welcome to our lecture online. In these examples and the ones to follow, we're going to place things kind of at random. In other words, we're going to need to use the appropriate rule, exponential rule, to solve or to simplify these expressions. I guess it's simplifying would be the best word. We're not solving anything, we're simply simplifying them. But it all comes down to knowing what rule to use and when to use it. And not always is there a singular path to get to the correct result. Sometimes there's multiple paths you can take, which is okay. Whatever path you like to take is the fine path. But we just have to remember what rule to use in each case. And sometimes it's better just to repeat yourself what rule you're dealing with. For example, if we're dealing with this example here, notice the bases are the same. And if the bases are the same, we add exponents. So you kind of remember or repeat that to yourself so you remember what rule to use. So in this case, this is x to the 3 plus 5 power, which is x to the 8 power. Here, again, we express our desire that we can only add exponents if the bases are the same. So we can add the exponents for the a's, we can add exponents for the x's, but we can't do any cross additions. So this becomes a to the 1 plus 3, because even though we didn't write the 1, it's actually there, and multiply it times x to the 4 plus 5. So we only add exponents when the bases are the same, and so this becomes equal to a to the 4th, x to the 9th. On this example, the rule is when we have an exponent raised to another exponent, we multiply the exponents. So this becomes a to the 5 times 4, which is a to the 20th power. And over here, we first take care of this portion right here, and then we multiply them together. So this becomes x to the 2 times 3 power, because just like over here, when we raise an exponent to another exponent, we multiply exponents. We still write the x to the 5th power. So this becomes x to the 6th times x to the 5th. And now that the base are the same, we simply add the exponents, so this becomes x to the 11th. And so that's how we simplify these types of exponential expressions.